Welcome to the Goods from the Woods. My name is Rivers Langley, and today I am hanging out in the back of Smoker's Abbey in East what? Nashville, Tennessee, with my friends Ben Sawyer and Mark and Unson. Welcome, fellas. We are uh, we're we're hanging out. This is a uh, this is the second podcast we've recorded at Smoker's Abbey. Ben and I did one back in I think 2019. I remember being very tired for that episode. Yeah, I just yeah. Like to apologize, but I feel like if you've been listening to this podcast for the last couple of years, you've at least had to endure me at least once because mm-hmm. I've been on several now, which is awesome. I'm yeah. tired of hearing about that story, to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, well, and this is uh, Mark's first appearance, so thank you so and much. Now you for, know why. Honestly, you know why. <laughs> Actually, oh. I'm going to have to cut this short. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, uh, uh, you know, I made my way up here earlier, and I, I wanted to say a special shout out to Bear Creek Sports Bar. Yeah. Bear uh, Creek Sports Bar. In, Big fan. It's a Bear Creek. Columbia, Watch out. Columbia, Tennessee. Hey, good burgers. <laughs> do they? I, I bet they do. I don't know. It was they just they a, would. If they did it, they would. I, I just wanted to uh, I wanted to bring this up because I wanted to uh, you know let people in on how I get work done. Uh, so I was, I was coming to Nashville. We were going to be doing this. I basically was like, uh, you know, I could sit at a Starbucks perhaps or... You can get some actual work done if people don't know this sports bar in the middle of the day. You you go, the, I could go to a Starbucks or what about a place that's called Bear Creek? That's not a warning. Yeah, let's go yeah. near that. And the truth is, I was going to go to Cracker Barrel, but the Cracker Barrel was overflowing with people, and so instead, I was like, "Oh, uh, Bear Creek, this will be perfect." Like, this, so, this barrel's full of crackers. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, too too many. Absolutely overflowing. My barrel overfloweth. Right, right. But uh, I did want to say, uh, if I had one criticism of Bear Creek, I would like to thank them for letting me sit here collect the information necessary to uh, have this episode but on the menu it said fried pickles six count and so (laughs) i was to assume they were talking about the spears you know deep fried spears i'm thinking there's gonna be six of them that's a normal amount of food they dumped half a jar of mount olive chips into that goddamn fryer because there was five thousand pickles and they knew i was by myself i've seen what's left over it's in river's car currently it is in a clam shell more than that absolutely overflowing in a clamshell so we are here in east nashville and for people listening east nashville on the other side of the cumberland river from what most people kind of think of when they think of nashville that being uh broadway or as one person on the news described it uh my mama told me don't never cross that bridge before from downtown remember those (laughs) days mark i remember those days i remember when you couldn't come down here so i did get kind of curious about broadway there's a there's a certain place that i am bound to determine to go to uh you know ever since we started making fun of it and of course that is the kid rock's big ass honky tonk Uh, yeah man have you been have you been mark i have not i have something called class yeah well so that's the problem (laughs) There's all the damn Nashville. Richest man in Antioch, ladies and gentlemen. All the damn Nashville people I know are too classy to go there. But I am, you know, I'm a a bit of a redneck sociologist. I need to to experience it. I need to breathe it in, uh, you know, not too deeply. uh, But like what you use, at first you said I'm a bit of a redneck. And I was like, so why aren't you already there? And then I realized that it wasn't a noun. It was a modifier. It was an adjective. A redneck sociologist. I mean, you know, you could be both. We could do a podcast from there. That'd be. Uh, Yeah, I'm sure they would. We're broadcasting from Kid Rock's dumbass bar. (laughs) Oh, wow. Yeah. Rivers just got broken uh, by um, but I uh, I found an article uh, that I kind of wanted to uh, uh, run down with y'all and just get your takes because you know maybe these are places you've been maybe it's not but uh, this is from a website called whiskey riff and Big uh, fan. these are some uh, Yelp reviews of downtown Nashville's lower Broadway bars oh no uh, so right. uh, I wanted to run them down at first I'll we'll start off with uh, what I will say is my favorite uh, place down there that being Robert's Western world oh, Robert's oh, is yeah. amazing yeah yeah a lot of history uh, it backs up to uh, what they call fame alley which is the alleyway where all the musicians that are going up at the Ryman auditorium kind of like hang out and smoke and and talk and stuff like that a lot of history in that place uh, but uh, this is a review. This is a two star Yelp review from 2013. And, you know, tell me what you think. It says, not a very kid friendly place. <laughs> Didn't have access. This is a honky tonk in fucking Nashville. It's, yeah. Didn't have access to silverware to cut a hot dog for my baby. <laughs> also, no changing table in bathroom. <laughs> Hamburger was less than good. <laughs> The, the group playing music made the place earn my stars. So, oh god, I love, I love, I love the way this lady is. She's the type of person who takes a, a baby to Broadway. How do we know it's a lady? 
I mean, Ben, that's very, good, that's very, sexist very of you. assumptive. Wow, yes, that's a true. Lady. Yeah, no, wow. but at the very least, this is the type of person who uh, walks into a fucking wild honky tonk <laughs> in Nashville where right, everyone yeah. is drunk at any hour of the day. And is like, hey, do you have a lot of uh, like Wait, things for my baby? Let me defend myself here, okay? Okay. Walking into a bar with a baby is the most man thing you can do. Okay. I mean, if we're going to stereotype, we go, oh, shit, it's my one weekend a month, right? Yeah, yeah. What are we going to do? Like, well, Robert said, I'm always welcome there, even though they've thrown me out three or four times. <laughs> yeah. And I know they've got hot dogs down there, which is what babies eat. So let's get this baby down there. <laughs> Give this baby a hot dog. Because as a parent, I can tell you, that's the thing they don't terrify you of as a parent. <laughs> you guys know this? When you have a baby, they go, hot dogs will kill your baby. Yeah, so yeah. this guy goes, you know what I need? I need, I need some silver to cut it up so I can make it just small enough to <laughs> choke my child. <laughs> and I'm trying to do this down here. I can't do it now. The baby ate and didn't choke, and now it's shitting itself. So, yeah. Well, also, I like that they're like, why don't you have knives in this crazy bar? <laughs> Oh, they've Where got the, knives in there. Yeah. They're just not behind the bar. Right, right. Everyone's yeah, you, fucking pocket. I was going to say, yeah, you could have just asked the, the shit kicker next to you, like, hey, you got a, you got a knife to chop up this hot, baby's hot dog. And also, I'm sure was, they'd be like, hell yeah. If this was the 70s, you just pull one out of a dead body. Yeah. Right? That's how you get it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I will defend this woman, because clearly we've established it's a woman. Uh, if you are a place of business, I don't care if it's a restaurant, a cigar bar, you need to have the means to cut a hot dog in half. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> you get your... You, you get a D on that health inspection. You fail. <laughs> Wait, yeah, the, the health board of what? Tennessee shows up. Wait, you don't got a knife to cut a hot dog? You get in a D. It sounds to me like they're not defending there. So we got a gun to cut a hot dog. We got a gun that will cut this hot dog right in half, but we can't pull it out unless we want to use it on somebody. Rivers, what year was this review from? 2013. So okay. It's been a while. That was before they had the term Karen. That was just... Oh, yeah. That yeah. was pre-Karen. A pre-Karen. That was, Karen. was a pre-Karen. <laughs> Pre Very precarious. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this next one I love because uh, it's three stars, so slightly better. Okay. That's not bad, though. But, Please. but like... Can I make a fort? Can I guess? Yeah, yeah. The band there is the reason why I gave it any stars at all. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. Okay. Uh, so here it goes. <laughs> Best place to hear real country music dot 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 in the entire world amen <laughs> now yes. that's true though that, that's all, true let's now, establish this by the radio he's been all over the world to see live music so leave, no country music specifically <laughs> that, that, dude robert's western world is better than the country music in uruguay i'm just gonna say it no offense uh okay so that seems like that's more than a three-star uh, review you right there think, but oh. but no the next sentence now, don't be looking for the next big, beautiful star here. These players are better and positively uglier than what <laughs> stars are made up to be nowadays. Oh, yeah. And then okay. here's the confusing part. This is a tourist trap. Real good cold beer and burgers. You should go. <laughs> 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 this wow. this man is all over the place. This is a this is a guy who uh, has no filter. It's it's all the thoughts. It's like he w forgot to take his schizo medicine before he did the <laughs> review. He's like, I need to take my pill so I don't I have my all my personalities don't come out. Oh. This review is like a gif, right? <laughs> like you read it any time. It goes from one star up to five stars and back, and one star and five. Stars. Yeah, how like, I would have given it five stars, but there was a person in there with a baby changing them on the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, talking about how there wasn't any silverware. There was no table. There was no changing table, Ben. I don't know if you've been paying attention. Mentioned, Every table is a changing table. It lacked a table koala more. pullout. Uh, <laughs> their koala game week. Well, well, I'll be honest. That's where I take my best shits is right on that koala pullout. Take a dump, slide that thing back up, lock it up. Hilarious every time. I'm always awkward using the bathroom in public, except for when there's a koala pullout. Shakes it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, there you, hey, go. you know, people are getting some business done in here. Uh, this next one, this is four stars. Four star oh, okay. review. So I blacked out here, which means it did its job, folks. It's good music, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Only four stars. I love that the phrasing, it did its job. Like the bar is there not for socializing. It is specifically there to black me out, to poison my brain to a point where I can no longer function. But can, can I make a case for the fifth star? Huh? There's a lot of places in this world where you black out. You're not alive the next day. 
To That's review true. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were <laughs> they they at least uh, you know, the the Brazil Billy hopped off stage. The and, way people find out your experience there is in the newspaper the next day when they were like, This person was stabbed eight times. Yeah. But that's yeah. obviously not gonna happen to Roberts because they don't have any silverware. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there we go. Uh, call back. All right, so next up, this is one I've never heard of. It's called The Stage. Oh, yeah, The Stage. Huge. What, what the hell is The Stage? It's a bar with a stage, and there's some guys playing honky-tonk. Yep. Oh, okay. Unlike it's the, right now. It's the same It's the same bar as Robert's. Uh, okay. It, it's okay. a great I mean, name. It's just the same thing. It's a great name because it differentiates that bar from all the other ones in that this one has a stage. Well, see, I was thinking like a stage <laughs> coach. Like it'd be like, oh, you know, well, like Robert's Western, Western so themed. So when the somewhere. New Yorkers come down, they try and get a corned beef sandwich from that place. What? It, <laughs> Do they serve what? that? No, uh, there's a famous deli in New York, Stages Deli. Oh, okay. That's, oh, okay. All right, I'm not the kind of person who can Delete write a review out. talking about this is the best corned beef in the world. I haven't traveled like you have. The yeah, corned yeah. beef? Oh, yeah. Uh, your means. I've been in New York. <laughs> uh, but this is a one star review. If you haven't been to Stages Deli, you've never been in New York. <laughs> okay. You've never been. Ooh. This, Ooh. Is a, this is a one star review for the stage. On 4-6-2021, oh. we were having a great time. <laughs> we loved the band. <laughs> we tipped heavily and enjoyed our date night until four women came in oh, and Lord. danced like they were having intercourse together right on the dance floor. <laughs> Obviously, they were high on something, and none of the women ordered beverages nor tipped the band. We all, including the band, were disgusted. <laughs> My husband and I regularly stop here for great music and hospitality, but after telling the largest bouncer that we were leaving if this X-rated dancing doesn't stop, he just discarded our request. He didn't care at all. When Bring me the largest bouncer. <laughs> when did Nashville change to a sleaze fest on a Monday night? Many of us left because of these women. They're asking this in 2021. When did it? I'll tell you. It was a couple years ago by that point. <laughs> and then, and now, gone are the days of the 1970s when downtown was just bars and porn shops. Well, now we, the last line is the best, <laughs> where they make it into like a political issue. Many of us left. I'm so sorry that no one cares for USA values at the stage. And I'm like, name me a thing that is more absolutely essential to the American ethos the than four middle-aged women dry humping. Just <laughs> fucking enjoy it, dog. Like, what is wrong with you? That's hilarious. Right. It, you know, it's one thing if they're messing with you, fine. But if it's just a train wreck and you're in a goddamn bar, you're an adult. Just fucking handle your shit, lady. That sounds like she did. Yeah, yeah, she handled her shit by writing a one-star Yelp review. You know who I feel sorry for? That woman's husband. That <laughs> <laughs> that poor son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, until he's, until the part about me and my husband. Yeah, I was like this. This this, this is written a by a man yeah. whose wife is standing over his shoulder, saying, "You tell everybody what you said to me because you was looking at him. You tell the world what you said to me." <laughs> I like how she was having the worst time of her life, and the dude was probably loving every <laughs> yeah, second of, of that. That's four why women she, that's rubbing why on each she, other. That's why she wrote it. Uh, <laughs> she got back home, and the guy was like. Man, those uh, those drunk dancing girls were pretty fun, right? And she was like, "I did not have fun." Uh, yeah, and then she, she had the best sex of her night that <laughs> night, and then she realized why. And then then she wrote the review. It's like that's what it takes for my husband to be interested in me. My husband ain't touched me in thirty two years. <laughs> he saw uh, these skanks. So now we're now we're moving down the street to Luke Bryan's thirty two bridge. Oh lord. <laughs> Which I don't even try anymore. It's like it's made by like a Wu Tang name generator. They're like Luke Bryan's what? I'm sure there's some strange thing where the number 32 is significant to Luke Bryan, but it it makes it's the number of chromosomes. Yes. (laughs) Can I bring my act into the podcast? Oh please! Uh, Whenever I hear somebody mention Luke Bryan, I pray to God they're talking about two different people. That's (laughs) right from the stage to the podcast. There you are, folks. yeah. So, uh, and and by the way, if, uh, if for some reason people listening have not, we did an entire celebrity restaurants episode oh. uh, of the show back in 2018, and that unfortunately is before I knew that Nashville is the fucking capital of weird <laughs> celebrity restaurants and bars. So I, we but kind of have to do just a Nashville edition. A at lot some of point. them are new. A lot of them are just the last couple. I years. know. Yeah. New so, trend. Yeah. 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 It's Part so. two. By the way, I'll have that lady from that. If you're listening right now, lady who wrote that one star review. Um, um, of the stage uh, Garth Brooks is actually opening up a bar in downtown and it is supposed to be family friendly 
So what? I would get there quick oh. before it shuts down. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. they're cutting hot dogs what? on every table. <laughs> <laughs> they're changing baby diapers, cutting hot diggity dogs everywhere. They have a knife just marked hot dogs only. <laughs> No, they've got a, they've got one of them paper cutters like they have in the back of a coffee shop yeah. just for hot Only dogs. Only hot. Do not put anything in here but hot dogs. Hot dogs for babies. Hey, y'all, step inside and use our hot dog guillotine. It's the damnedest thing you've ever seen. Um, one lady would walk in there very, very, very clearly going there. Finally. <laughs> they would. I went to Garth Brooks, and they would not cut my bratwurst on the hot dog machine cutter. <laughs> they won't that, let no more than three middle-aged ladies finger themselves in the middle of the dance floor Garth Brooks. <laughs> but yeah, this person gave Luke Bryan's 32 Bridge one star. Oh, no. Well, right. I'm with him. Go ahead. I gave one star because I couldn't give less. Worst place I've ever visited in Nashville. And I used a porta potty. Overpriced drinks, inhospitable staff. Live band was fine. Okay. Yeah. The music. <laughs> the music, band. guys. So apparently, That's why they're here. That's the thing about the city is like. The worst person playing in downtown is still better than the best person in almost all of the world in terms of playing this music. I mean, oh, it's yeah. Just like, it's, it almost seems unfair. Like, yeah, that, yeah. Such talent. Uh, this one, uh, same, same uh, establishment, five stars. Okay. okay. Josh's thighs made this trip worthwhile. Mm, hell yeah, they did. They make me so happy, make the world go round. He thick. <laughs> That can't be real, right? Josh, that's really that made it past the editors. And, uh, Josh, I don't know who Josh is. Maybe this. I is, need to meet this Josh. Maybe this is some famous musician that plays there. But as as far as I know, it's way funnier to imagine. Like, why did I come to this bar for fucking Josh? And it's just some like truck driver just sitting at the bar <laughs> farting. Like, well, Josh, if you're listening right now out on the road driving your truck, probably farting too. Just know you did your job. <laughs> now it's time to get a direct sponsorship. All right. As an overweight person, I thought it was something off the menu. <laughs> Josh's thighs. <lying. laughs> <laughs> Two large thighs and a side of fries. Only at Luke Bryan's 32. <laughs> we have 30 other things here you can get. Try our Nashville hot thighs. Nashville hot thighs. Nashville hot. Now we're, uh, now we're moving down to Nudie's Honky Tonk. Oh, yeah, Nudie's. Uh, Nudie's. Which, for people listening, if you don't know, is named for Nudie Cohen, the man who designed all of the uh, outfits for oh, the Grand Ole Opry for naked stars. people. Right, well, I'm uh, guessing there's a lot of disappointed people a here. a bit of confusion. A lot of That's people right. aren't familiar with uh, costume and uh, uh, decorator Nudie Cohen. And they uh, should not be. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Most uh, people aren't into fringe. Uh, three stars from this person. Rooftop was sweet. There's a great view of basic girls doing photo shoots on Broadway, but the security guy is a crotch muncher. <laughs> a cro- what, a, wait, what's a, that mean? A crotch muncher. Oh, M O N C H E R. I was like, maybe that's a typo and he meant crotch monster. No, but the, even. What does that mean, though? Let's all, let's all go around the <laughs> rivers. Room and say, I, I know what it means. Oh, you do? It, it means that they are judging a man for having no judgment about whose or what's any crotch. He likes them, he monches them all. Oh, and okay. he's too he's too progressive. Okay, I thought it was going to mean that like he won't just let you jack off. Oh, oh, he's he's monching your good. He's time. like he's like yeah. get over here. All right, I'm, I'm getting ready to monch this jack you're doing. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> As an overweight person, I thought it was something on the menu. From <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I want to let me get a side of crotch monchers. <laughs> Nashville, can you make that Nashville hot? <laughs> uh, we got another celebrity in the house here. Dirks Bentley's Whiskey Row. Yeehaw. Dirks Bentley's. Dirks Bentley's. Hey, hey, please whiskey tell me there's row. an apostrophe in Dirks. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people don't know how to use them. Yeah. <laughs> this bar belongs to the Bentley that Dirks owns. Dirks like, Bentley's Whiskey Row. Does Dirks Bentley ever come in here? No, no, no. no read the sign. It's yeah, actually Dirks Bentley. Yeah, it's S apostrophe. There's you several were, Dirks around here. They've got one Bentley, <laughs> and this belongs to that. Uh, one star. Would leave zero stars if I could because I was told that I could not enter because of my green pants. On St. Patrick's Day. What a joke. Bentley sucks anyway. I went back the next night and I saw two rats on the floor. <laughs> so and wait, now, wait, wait, wait. wait. This guy got thrown out. He was furious. He was like, let's go back tomorrow. 
<laughs> There's no way that's the reason they of didn't let him in. Of course not. This guy showed up shit faced, yeah. and they were like, "No," and he's like, "Why not?" He's got one eye just like closed, <laughs> like, "Hey, why not?" And the guy, after telling him you're too fucked up, he's, like, "I'm not fucked up." The guy goes, "It's because you have green pants," and somehow that stuck to his like whiskey pickled brain. Oh, <laughs> but that was the reason. That guy just got through beating up his girlfriend downtown, <laughs> they, fighting three other women. And he's just unless, like, oh, you're green pants. Unless like, they were crotchless green pants. That's. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but look, I think we can be assured that you're in close proximity to a crotch monster <laughs> yeah, who would right. not stand for that. <laughs> he should have went to the other place. <laughs> I love the way this guy's like, this place sucks. After not being able to get in there because of my green pants, I couldn't get anywhere else to get alcohol. It's like, fucking walk next door, dude. Walk next door. Oh, did he say that? He said he couldn't get a drink? No, no I just, I'm just saying it's funny. It's like, did you be mad you couldn't get into one bar on Broadway? Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, what curious. else are you going to do? You drove all the way out here. Where's another place to get alcohol? It's like, it's, it's, it's 15 feet to the right. And we're going we're gonna to end right at the end of Broadway there with an absolutely classic establishment. Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. There you go. Mm-hmm. You can't have a negative about it. They're all five stars. Yep, yep. Legendary. Legendary, legendary oh, okay. Tootsie's okay. Orchid Lounge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these people did not have a legendary time, and uh, I, this is this is the capper. This that is remains my favorite. Seen. All right. One star. And what? All, wait, at Tootsie's? At Tootsie's. One star for oh, Tootsie's. Unbelievable. And, I'm pissed off already. And I want to make note of when this was posted. This was posted on May 21st, 2020. <laughs> At wow. a, a time in which you shouldn't be in any fucking bar. I was the only one at Tootsie's, and they made me wear a mask. I called Bart Durham. <laughs> so again, Bartenders were all sick and coughing. <laughs> Talk about how, oh, some of them had died recently. Yeah, right. yeah. Likely story. So one star from May 2020. If hell had a bar, this would be it. That honestly sounds awesome. That I'm sounds like say, a five star. I know that right sounds there, like a word. Yeah, my, I mean, that sounds dope. My entire party had group diarrhea in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's not, no, it does not say That's that. What it says like a group diarrhea. <laughs> Wait, my entire again, five stars. Party. How cool is that? You'll yeah. <laughs> A whole group having diarrhea. <laughs> sounds amazing. This is a bonding experience. Yeah, it sounds like it was our diarrhea. It was our. This is our <laughs> it's diarrhea. A group, like so, everyone got poisoned, <laughs> which is funny considering when this happened. Because it's like in 2020, you would be so lucky to get right. group diarrhea from a bar as opposed to fucking diarrhea. your lungs filling with fluid and you drowning. All these people got what they deserved. You know, there's four of them crashing in one hotel room. Just fucking, <laughs> oh remember yeah. Remember kids? We used to play swords. You know what I'm saying? Where you all pee in the same place. You know? <laughs> no, we, I didn't. Uh, do you know, like little kids, little kids would be like, go all the same time to the bathroom, right? And they're like, <laughs> sorry, I grew up broke, and they'd just be like, you got to pee before you go to bed, and you just go in there, I'll pee. This is the opposite of that, right? It's just shit and swords. <laughs> like, <laughs> did they share a toilet? Wait, like, or were they all just lined up in all the stalls? Oh, just- well, Tootsie's, first of all, for people listening, it's been there, I think, since like the 40s. Yeah, it's, it's probably got like two toilets in uh, there, Dude, right? it's the, 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 imagine a bathroom that has been a bar bathroom for oh. like 70 years. You know what I mean? Like, still never seen green group diarrhea until this day in 2020 <laughs> when this crew rolled up indignant you know how they got the group diarrhea so they use a contaminated knife cutting hot dogs oh, that's, oh, that'll yeah. do it at least, hot dogs. at least they've got them see we're gonna rectify that at garth's okay <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna boil all of our hot dog right. knives we have a process for this it's clean process that's, that's right. right god group diarrhea that's that is, it is. I don't they, think they, this guy realized how much he five starred himself yeah, but yeah. not in the way he wants to uh, it ends by saying this place is smelly and way too loud, yeah. even for a tourist trap. Foul owner. Nice employees, <laughs> though. <laughs> Could that be the group diarrhea you're uh, Yeah, 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 exactly. It's like seems like some of that is at least your <laughs> fault. Group diarrhea. Uh, so anyway, that is the Yelp report from Lower Broadway. Welcome to Nashville, motherfuckers. <laughs> you heard it here. Uh, Goods from the Woods podcast. How long does it take Where? diarrhea to kick in? How do they know they got it at Tootsie's? Were they there long enough I, for diarrhea to start? This is what I think. I think they were there all day uh, okay. because it's may of 2020 and i remember because we were we were pretty actively covering a lot of nashville stories during that time because Why, rivers because all the goddamn <laughs> bars were open and yeah. every day you would see like 500 people packed into kid rock's big ass honky tonk yeah. and it's like uh yeah you know and i remember tootsie's like being open and i think if i remember correctly the owner posting a oh, bunch of shit online defiantly just being like angry about <laughs> yeah just like government getting in the way the government's lying to us that's why tootsie's ain't open um 
But Masks uh, don't save lives. Tootsies do. Yeah, get right. your ass down to Tootsies and live. <laughs> we need to get a historical marker down there. On this date, May of 2020, the first ever documented case of group diarrhea. Group document self-professed <laughs> on the Yelp. I got to say, that's that's better than just solo because at least you're bonding. Yeah, it's like, one of those experiences where like, while it's happening, you're like, this sucks, but it'll be a funny story later. But this person doesn't have that perspective. They just go straight to Yelp and about the group diary and I'm like you know what you're closer with your friends for doing that come on down to Tootsie's and have yourself a beer mama's in the kitchen standing there in tears my mama loved my daddy but it's breaking up our home she got Jesus on the radio and daddy's on home so life's journey found me today in Ardmore Tennessee. Uh, oh, yeah. Stop Hardmore. Right, right, right near the border. Ard, Ard, right near the border. Ardmore. 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 Right near Alabama. Yeah. Right near well, Shelbyville. Yeah. So I Exit was, one. Well, so, yeah. So I was taking such an obscure county road that there was not even a marker that I had gotten into Tennessee. Nah, it's yeah. beautiful out there, man. I yeah. love this. I, it was Huntsville. Great. Shout out to Huntsville. I where you were. I've, so I've been down there. I, I stopped at the fast fuel and I, yeah. I did what I always do, which is I walked straight back to the coolers uh, to try to find uh, something for us to sample this evening for our segment, Ungodly Concoctions. Oh, Oh, wow. What did we, we come go. up with? Here we go. And right. today, uh, boy, I've never seen this before. And He's from it, Alabama. It's, no. it, it, all right. So this is this. is I've reached this sad point because we've, we've done this segment so much that when I get to a gas station and I see an energy drink that I've never seen before, I like squeal. I'm like, oh, ah! like that. <laughs> and oh. this one blew my fucking mind. Uh, so again, this is, imp- this is a man who should be calloused against all yes, energy drinks. Yeah, no, I should be impervious to surprise, but I uh, color me surprised. Uh, gentlemen, this is Neurofuel Max. Uh, uh, fuel. So that's a big word. Yeah. So Neuro. this this is uh, it's for your mind, right? No? Yeah. It will. So I think it's brain for your, shit, might man. be for your car, but I don't. It sounds fast. Whatever it is, sounds fast. So <laughs> around the ring of the can, because I was like reading the pablum. So first of all, this says EBT approved. Oh, good. Uh, so, oh. which you know, I should I should say, I, every fucking thing should be EB two approved. The fact that they even have to put this on a can, fuck you. If I'm on food stamps, I should be able to buy lobster. I should be able to buy steak, and I should be entitled to fucking neurofuel. If you're listening here and you disagree with him, just understand, if you want fewer people to be on EBT, let them buy this, because I don't think it's going to make them live very well. Well, no, 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 Ben. See, around the ring, it says motivation, intelligence, and happiness. Wow. <laughs> so this claims to uh, keep you intelligent, motivated, and happy. And on the back, now this is where I really kind of came alive when I was looking at this can, because I'm going to read the back. It says... Neurofuel may increase the brain's healthy nerve function and structure to enhance coordination, intelligence, and recovery. And then there's a giant asterisk. And then it says, Neurofuel may increase dopamine and serotonin, which plays a large role in motivation, happiness, and concentration, and a sense of well-being. And another asterisk. And then at the bottom it says... The statements have not been proven or evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any uh, disease. Whatever with that. Can I just yeah. say this here right Fuck now, guys? Fuck you, government! Let me, let me just say this right now. You know, at one point in my life, I was like, I really want to learn more. Okay, I spent seven years working on a PhD, okay? Yeah. I lived in Michigan for five years. I lived in Russia for two years. If I'd only known, all I had to do was drive to the border of Tennessee and Alabama and spend what? $1.99? I mean, my God, I would be so much further in my life right now. So this actually fiddles with uh, tradition a little bit because in our exploration of the energy drink phenomenon, we have found that more times than not, energy drinks tend to be produced in a place where you can get to international waters. On the coast. Uh, On the coast. The coast. Or... They are produced in Las Vegas, where you can hide in the desert if the government comes for you. Uh, so this being made in Johnson City, Tennessee. Now, oh, my God. Yeah, now, local. Yeah, it's local. Yeah, it's local. And shout out to my Uncle Jim and Aunt Nancy, who've uh, been proud residents of Johnson City, Tennessee my whole life. I've spent Thanksgivings in Johnson City. Johnson City is beautiful. And there are mountains in which you can hide. So even this. There you know, we go. It, it, you that know, is right. It deviates a little bit from uh, tradition. But nonetheless, if the government comes to clamp down on your Claims of Neurofuel Max, your mood enhancement formula, uh, yeah. then you can, uh, then you know, you also, can you're near a couple of state borders there, uh, right? I mean, this is this yeah, is 
Kansas, Kansas, Upper, Upper East yeah, Tennessee. You can get to Virginia pretty quick. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're North Carolina. Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina. Kentucky. Oh, it's yeah. all right it's there. It's all right there, yeah. All those places you read about in school. All the places you definitely want to go if you want life to get worse. Anyway. <laughs> Or if you want to escape uh, prosecution from the Food and Drug Administration <laughs> and the USDA. Right. South Carolina actually doesn't follow federal law. I mean, you guys know this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they seceded. That's right, yeah. They, Again? Yeah. Uh, they did one time. I don't know, it was, I don't know what happened. It was um, over energy drinks, okay, actually. Yeah. 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 Boy, uh, if the Confederacy would have had these. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you, how do you think P.T. Beauregard stayed up to shell that <laughs> fort? He was chugging Neurofuel Max. Charge maybe. the hill, motherfuckers. Yeah, I mean, yeah. some of these charges, like the Battle of Murfreesboro, it seems like Braxton Bragg was on Coke or Neurofuel. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep running at him. Uh, well, uh, uh, y'all, uh, please hold for everybody's favorite part of the show. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. And now yeah. this is okay. everyone's second favorite part of the show. Hold. You know, it Plastic just, cups. It, Plastic cups. At this point, I would say we should have done an IQ test before and after. That's true. Oh, we're getting stupid. Bay, I, more like uh-oh. didn't. Ooh. All right. I, I got a little whiff, and I got to say... Ooh, kinda, I'm feeling yeah, citrus from Kind of smells here. good. I, pretty, this is going to be hard to sell because last time I was on, me, you, and Narado had pumpkin pie. Yeah, we had a soda. Yeah, and now soda. now this is serious shit. We're about to do stand-up comedy this here. This could about be the last hour. thing you hear from us. Yeah, if we yeah. get too strong off this or too smart. If this All gives right. us group diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll review Smoker's Abbey as such. All right. This is actually my favorite drink. <laughs> yeah? You like it? It's amazing. It's, it tastes like, like someone put a bunch of sugar in 7-Up. It does. I mean, yeah, I was yeah. Sprite. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel smarter. Well, the square root of 81 is 9. <laughs> I never, I did not know that. Wow. What? Look at you. I, hey, I know that's right now. <laughs> I would have before said I don't know, but now I do know that's right. Okay, so we, we should say this is not like a sugar free gimmick. This has got the full. Oh, this no. is legit, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. This, I, would, oh I would describe this as max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, F. FDA maximum. So ni- yeah. 90 calories per can. So we're each taking it about, uh, take about 30 calories. 30 ca- exactly Probably the 30 healthiest calories. thing I've had today. Exactly. It's one third of 90 is 30. Uh-huh. I knew that. I didn't know that before. I would not have told you that this morning. That's right. Take and, the zero away. Put three uh, goes into nine three yeah. times. Minus. Oh, yeah. You're right. 20, Normally, I would have joked about how I don't understand what you're saying. But now I know what you're saying. 21 grams of sugar. That's seven grams of pop. Hey. I know you're right about that now. And you know what? Uh, when you die, 21 grams. Goes out of your uh, goes out of your body, and they don't know how to explain it. Except it's probably poop. I know how to explain it, but I don't have time. I would have known this morning, but now I know. They say that's the way to your soul, but it's poop. Luke Bryan's thirty-two calories. <laughs> <laughs> now we know. Damn, very close to a spit take there. Almost ruined this microphone. I like this a lot. I I would buy again. Yeah, this is how, this is a how, again. how much like energy drink exposure do y'all have generally? None. Okay, I've been on this podcast enough times to say a lot. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I also lived in Russia for a while, and I'll tell you this. R.I.P. Yagvar. Uh Uh, Yagvar was an 8% alco energy drink that also included several stimulants, one of which was nicotine. So Nicotine? I'm just going to say, yeah. Wow. Um, R.I.P. My wife. That's like six loco. Look, (laughs) we were all a bunch of nerds doing research in Russia, and when we drank Yagvar, we got so out of control that my wife actually, then my girlfriend... Made she declared her apartment a Jaguar free zone. Oh wow! Yeah, but there has to be somewhere in a basement a can of this stuff. If you guys could get it, God bless you. No. Jaguar, send it to PO Box twenty four, East Nashville, Tennessee. <laughs> now what? Three seven zero one four. Ben, Sawyer. what what time period was that where you were in Russia? Oh, the sixties. It was the sixties. Like, I mean, basically the two year run I had there was like between. Summer of 2010 to the summer of 2012. Oh, so you were so literally this drink is happening at the same time Four Loco is hitting America, basically. Yeah, I believe Four Loco was banned in, in 2010 I'll, I'll, or 2011. Yeah. I'll never forget it. Uh, Yagvar, though, and like oh, it was it was insane. I mean, it was. <laughs> I mean, you knew you were drinking it, and so did everybody else. <laughs> I bet. Go to go to Russian soccer games with a hooligan chicky. That I mean that is. <laughs> The nicotine element it makes it way crazier, I would say, than uh, than even for it Loco. was amazing. Man. Yeah, I, now I've said before that uh, the y- the year or two when Four Loco was really popping off, there is probably if you were to cut open American millennials' brains, 
there's probably residue, you know, much much like the asteroid that hit the uh, that hit the oh, Yucatan the Peninsula that yeah, killed the dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. an irradiated layer of soil across the entire Earth, and that's how we know that happened. <laughs> there is an irradiated layer of soil on most millennials' brains from the summer of Four Loco. I want to know because anyone has anyone actually done the research to like trace crime rates and all of this? Oh. No, I, I just was in a college town while that was going on, and my brother drank. He pounded two four locos. That's um, a mistake. Well, let me well let me go back. He had totaled his own car, uh, <laughs> yep. and my dad said, "He said, will you rent a car for me?'" And my dad said, "Sure." And they went there, and the people at the car, because my brother had at this point gotten a couple DUIs. He t- he totaled his own car, and by that he didn't crash it. He actually just kicked the shit out of it until uh, it was well, ruined. <laughs> yeah, no, he ruined somebody with a beer between his legs. Oh, he boy. didn't get a DUI for that one. But let me just say, my father said, "I." They said. When they went into the car, the guy goes, there's no way he can drive this car. And so my dad said, look, I'll drive this car. You drive my truck to and from work. That's it. He had a new Tacoma, right? Yeah. Uh, about six hours later, my brother had drank two Four Locos while cooking dinner, needed more Four Locos, hit another person head on in that truck. Oh, total geez. the truck. Jesus. Now total the second, second vehicle in about eight days, right? Whoa. And was... <laughs> Totally fine, by the way. Yeah. He was fine. Four Thanks loco. to energy Four drinks. loco. He'd be, he wouldn't be fine if it wasn't for those drinks. That's what I'm saying. The other people would have been okay. They'd probably be... They'd probably be living happy lives. Very yeah. happy. You're probably less neck pain. Oh. But I'm just saying, that can't be the only story like that. Oh, yeah. No, there's tons of that. I've, uh, I've, <laughs> I, have a, uh, I have a friend who uh, he moved to Atlanta uh, to become a chef, and he came back to Auburn, and it was like his first weekend back. Like He, he used to live in Auburn, went to Atlanta, and we're like, hey, it's so good to see you you know, pounded several Four Locos and basically my friend was sort of egging him on because he was drunk and being like, oh, you're in Atlanta now. You think you're better than us. And in, and so he was kind of playing the game and be like, I am better than you. And they and then it kind of turned into a real fight. <laughs> I moved to the big city. Fuck you, you fucking hick. You know, that kind of thing. What do you drink? Two loco? You fucking broke ass. <laughs> and he had moved to Atlanta to uh, go to culinary school and he was working in a restaurant and he'd already told me like before he started drinking Four Loco that he was like, oh, yeah, like, uh, you know, David Cross and Margaret Cho came into my restaurant. Like, we're all big comedy fans, obviously, and stuff. And I was like, oh, man, that's awesome. Cut to a few hours later. He is absolutely fucked up on Four Loco. And they're having this this argument that started fun and now is kind of turned serious. And my friend goes, man, David Cross is coming up to me today. Day and telling me my dick tastes like sausage. <laughs> <laughs> just, just fucking dada. Like it was amazing. Like, like what he was trying to say is that David Cross came into my restaurant and I made pizza and he enjoyed it. But he said he's coming up to me today and telling me my dick tastes like sausage. <laughs> then that is the power of Four Loco because normal with a normal alcohol, if you were at the point where you're saying he's telling me my dick tastes like sausage. You're not awake anymore. Yeah, you're you're, 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 like, you're hey, dead. You're past the fuck out. But because Four Loco had the zombie fuel in it of taurine, guarana, and uh, and caffeine, and kerosene, it, it fucking you're awake, and now you're just talking bullshit. And it was, uh, yeah, that, the craziest shit was also it, it. David Cross did show up that day within 24 <laughs> hours and sucked that guy's and dick. Said That's it the power tasted like sausage of Four Loco. <laughs> Tell me what I'm supposed to say. It tastes like. <laughs> That's why I go to stages because they just. Black you out. You, you can't make a fool of yourself. You get the liquor, you just black out. They do their job. That's right. They do their, do their job. That's their, <laughs> but God we, put them on this earth to do. Yeah. Sweet. Black black you out. Yeah. We sweeping a, out that <laughs> drunk. God has a plan for all of us. Just walk in there and it's just music blaring and bodies on the floor. Oh my God. You guys, I love Goods from the Woods. This is what I love about this show. <laughs> I love about it. It's like me and Rivers were hanging out earlier, and we were just like, ah, you know, my son Salma was doing the worst shell tricks ever. He's seven. Um, oh, shell, he, was, he was trying to do the, the shell way, game He, he on was me. doing a, a shell okay. game where right. he put, it was two unequal size, like two halves of a plastic egg, right? He put the red one underneath one of the shells, right? It was the jelly said, beans. There. Yeah, jelly beans. Red right. jelly bean. He said, close your eyes, right? And Solomon spun yeah, him around. And he cool. said, which one do you think the red's under, right? And, Sol- and, and he picked the right one, so he put it up and showed him, right? He goes, all right, close your eyes again. Now, at this point, Solomon didn't actually put the jelly bean under a different shell. <laughs> he just spun the same shells around. Okay. And then was like, which one is it under now? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so I know I just drank this, but wi- I don't know. Which one is it under? I just said the same the one. same one. Oh, yeah, my it God. Was this stuff one. doesn't work at and all. And Rivers was giving him credit going, you ate it. 
<laughs> or you put it in your pocket. And Tom was like, what? Why would I do <laughs> you had to consider that, that when I just I move them? They're in different places. They're obviously still the same shells. My son. <laughs> he was killing it. I feel stronger now. I know. I've, I've My brain is suddenly on, awake. Uh, 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 maxed out would you say uh, it, well yeah this is the max fuel I specifically got the max formula there oh, was there was a, one there now? was a regular one. Oh yeah oh, you don't want to mess with and that and I was like you know what we're not going to start recording I, this till nighttime. we got to yeah. get a boost boys the hey, regular Mark, one's not EBT approved I don't think Mark were you were you plowing fields with a mule earlier <laughs> Why me do I? either not a fucking peasant we're going max all right <laughs> exactly and they had a sugar free too but nah fuck that sugar free mm-hmm. hey, you, oh. you get maxed on that <laughs> is coming up to me even today tell me my dick tastes like sausage. <laughs> So our next segment is called Top 3. We have uh, people write to us on Twitter, at the Goods Pod. We're probably only going to have time to do one of these, but we're going to make it damn good. So we're going to start off with our friend, at Real Gumball Head. So shout out to Gumball Head the Cat. Top 3 Potato Dishes. So top, top three, three things potato. to do with a potato. I've got mine, so I'll, I'll do mine, and then, uh, and then I'll uh, throw it to you so you got time to think. Number three, it's Shepherd's Pie. It's got to be the goddamn shepherd's pie. That's a that's a bunch of mashed potatoes on top of a beef stew, unimpeachable, <laughs> perfect, and and a, a recipe that's very hard to fuck up. Wait, that was number one. No, that's number three. I'm running oh, them backwards. Oh, backwards. I'm, I'm counting down. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. You you can top shepherd's pie. Oh, I I can definitely top shepherd's pie. Yeah. So number I three. well I, I'll save this for number one. Hash browns smothered and covered. Ooh, Dude, that, that was mine. That was mine. Oh, that was mine. Oh, that's my yes. number three. Yes. Smothered that and covered from the Waffle House. Oh, buddy, and that's proprietary. Yeah. So, yeah, I agree with you. And it's got to be from Waffle House. Not from anywhere else. Yeah. Smothered and covered. Smothered and covered, for people listening, that means cheese and onions. Yeah, Heck, uh, heck, heck and, yeah. And I like the curse. chili. Oh, like God, chili. you're a freak. Oh, yeah, you're no. a freak. Oh. <laughs> that's how you get group diarrhea, man. Yeah. <laughs> It's actually not, and I know this because I, I've experienced this category. I feel like if I was living through it, I would have defined it as such. Okay. Uh, okay. Would you share your you share your dishes with other people? At Walmart? Yeah. Well, that so that that's your that's your number one, right? No, that's my number three. Oh, that's your number three. Okay. That's ben, my number three. Ben, what do you got? What what's your uh, what's your number three? Uh, my number three is that. Okay. We can't have the same one. No, I mean, no, really, we like, can. I mean, it's a different. Yeah. Hey, if you take it, if it's, it's three, covers, it's I three. Like the chili on it, but like. You get the chili. I do the smothered and covered. Yeah. And, you know, I, I'm a chunks happy. guy. I have the ham on. You there. do the. I've uh, never I, done the chunks. Oh, I, I didn't for years. Yeah, I'm going to do, do it. the chili. You don't like, have to. It's like a lot of meat in it. <laughs> I'm going to chunk it next time. You got to chunk it. Smothered, covered, and chunked. Let's chunk it. And if you're really feeling frisky, get that pepper. Get some jalapenos on Is there. Is that diced? That's ho- uh, no peppered. What's diced? They have diced on there. Diced too. is tomatoes. Oh yeah, I'm not doing that. What kind of southerner are you? My God, come on. And so uh, my number two, and this one, I, I believe I've described this on the show before, but it, it's uh, you can either say the French name, which is potatoes pavé, or uh, what I was first introduced to it as compressed potatoes, uh, which is a French recipe. And in the grand tradition of all French recipes, there's like five ingredients and it takes for fucking ever to make. It is very arrogant. But it's delicious. So like... I had this at a. I was at a, a restaurant in Victoria, Canada, well, and me. it came with like a side of compressed potatoes. And I'm like, "What the fuck is a compressed potato?" And it comes out. It's like a fried cube. It looks like you've perfectly cubed a potato and then fried it. But the thing is, once you bite into it, it just kind of like flakes out into all these layers. And what it is is you take several big potatoes and use a Japanese mandolin and slice them as thin as they will possibly go, toss them in a, in heavy whipping cream, and I use like Tony Sachery's and a little bit of salt, and uh, and then you just arrange them in a baking sheet, and it's called potatoes pavé, because that means like pavement, so you arrange them the way you would arrange like cobblestone, so they just kind of are on top of each other, and you do this, and it takes for goddamn ever, yeah, it does. and then you bake it. And then the compression part comes in. You have to find something heavy. So they recommend like soup cans. And as as it comes out of the oven, when it's still soft, you put the soup cans on top of it and it basically pushes everything down. And then you put that in the fridge overnight. And then the morning you cut it into squares like brownies and then you fry them. And so it's like a home fries, but the next level because everything is now covered in heavy whipping cream and Tony Sachery's Creole seasoning. So they just kind of like as soon as you bite into them, they just flake open into mm. a bajillion layers. Yeah. 
Fuck. I'm so hungry right yeah. now. This is so How's much. That not, and that's not your number Look, one. No, that's not my it's number one. It's fucking potatoes. You know what potatoes are? They're a calorie bomb. It's the fuel of European <laughs> empire. They discovered them in South America. They brought them back over. This is the reason the populations in Europe exploded, because they grew in Ireland, then they grew in Poland, right? Yeah. This basically fuels the entire European conquest of the world, okay? Yeah, that's true. And if you took this fucking long to cook them... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it yeah, would yeah. not have. Well, that's right. a that's a credit to France, right? They were able to is grow, it? Is it? They were able to grow to such a level where you take this humble root and turn it into. They a, go, hey, we could give this to some fucking people that graduated third grade at Waffle House, and it'll be one of the greatest things ever. Or <laughs> no, we could we could turn it into pavement and device it and put it into an oven. It's like all these devices. It's so pompous. Okay? I w- I will accept your apology when I make it and blow your mind. Okay, well, you know I'm what? You. Uh, then you won't you won't be able to accept my apology Why less than so four mad? days from now. Because that's how long it's going to take you to make these. Nah, it's just an overnight thing. Why but is he so mad? I don't know. It I'm sounds angry delicious. At the French. All, All right, right look. it sounds delicious. <laughs> Thank this. you. What's your number? Well, two? you know what? Just to make you mad, I'm going to go with a French uh, potato recipe that Uh-oh. I've had. Uh-oh. I was in a brewery in Springfield, Missouri, of no places, mm-hmm. and had steak fries confit. Oh, okay. It was so good. Uh, for you French haters, that steak fries cooked oh, in duck fat. Oh, I know what they're saying. I know their language because I want to know what they're saying about me. Yeah, 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 yeah. with the duck fat. Oh, it was man. really. Good. It's probably not my real number two, but it's just <laughs> to piss Ben off. It, but it was some of the best potatoes. Hell I've ever yeah! Had. Oh yeah, they fry that shit in the duck fat. Oh, oh my, my god. god, have you had the confit? I have. And they also had like a. This is not related, but why it was so good? They had some kind of fried chicken dish that went with it. That was also. Cooked in duck fat. Yes, yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they, it doesn't. I should be dead. It doesn't exist anymore. But the best, uh, like hot dog place in Chicago was called Hot Dogs, and they had duck hot fat dude. fries. Yeah, but oh they did not have a knife. Uh, yeah, that's they true. did not have that's a knife true. at that place. Aggies that's why they're get out of business. Small enough to get in a baby's mouth so they can choke <laughs> one. <of> <laughs> if they only had a knife, they'd still be around. All right. What's All number right. two for me? What, what do baked you got? potato. Baked potato. Simple. Oh, oh bullshit. Oh uh, no, 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 no. Baked potatoes are awesome. They're essential. You just put them in the oven. All right. You put some sour cream, some butter on them. Maybe if you're rich or something, if you're like, hon, hon, fon, fon, you get some bacon bits in there. Put some chives on but, that. I'll yes, put some but chives. my point is, it's yeah. essential. You can do whatever you want to to it. You bake up potato. Dude, the, the world is your oyster. Yeah. You, yeah, you could put oysters on there if you're really yeah. freaky. If you're a I'm dish. sorry. I'm of the people. I'm not <laughs> the richest man in Antioch oh. or living in Los Angeles. Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do one That's more. That's an EBT approved recipe right there, Ben. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, As I, was this brain fuel we have. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, this we're... obviously turned me angry. Uh-huh, yes, yeah. I've never seen you. Th- no, That's not true. I have. When I did 25 minutes here, the last, that time, that's the maddest I've ever <laughs> I was just tired. I know. I'm messing with you. <laughs> the best part was how I was tired trying to get the show to end, and then six people asked me, so what's going on in Ukraine? That <laughs> <laughs> left at 2 a.m. <laughs> My number one, also kind of French, and I'm going to cheat a little bit because it's roughly the same concept, but uh, just two different kind of things. Poutine. Oh, yes. French fries with gravy and cheese curds on French top. French Canadian. French Canadian. Yeah. You can't fuck with poutine. It rules. And then my like side item uh, that's the same concept, but I had recently. And the fact that I have never seen this before and never thought of this, fucking, there is a place that I've driven by several times on Santa Monica Boulevard in Los Angeles. And I saw the name of the restaurant, made note of it in my head, and then completely forgot about it. But we finally went there. It's called Indie Mex. And it is a Mexican Indian fusion restaurant where they have like burritos with the, you know, with the tandoori chicken inside. And like it, it's it, it was mind blowing. They had chicken tiki masala fries. So they just had a basket of fries with the chicken tiki masala on top. It, I, I've, it's rare that I'm blown away by a potato, but my number two and my number one, I was like, Holy shit, dude. So I will say generally my number one answer is covered fries uh, of some description. All right. I like it. And that can include like a you know chili cheese fry or whatever. But those are the two I want to cite specifically. Poutine and the damn uh, chicken tikka masala fries at Indie Mex in damn, Los Angeles. Dude, this is a tie. I, I want to try that. Yeah, that's dope. Please come to L.A. I know where all the goods. Let's do it. I know where I'm all the on goods. my way. There's a, there's a thing going around where people are like, oh, L.A., all the food is like kale and whispers of sea foam and shit. I'm like, no, no, no. Yeah. If you want to get real goddamn fat you can do it in LA I love people who are like who are like uh, there's plenty of reasons to hate LA but I'm gonna hate it for a reason that's not real <laughs> yeah 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 it's like we're the land of 24 hour greasy spoon diners yeah, have you heard a Tom Waits album yeah <laughs> get marked yeah yes what you got oh my, oh, my number, number one, one baby. it's a little recipe I make uh, myself called tater tot casserole Ooh, make it at home hell yeah, oh, yeah. Here, right. here's the key to it a lot of the tater tot casseroles you don't do this but I 
cook my tater tots alone in an oven, and then I put them in a. A lot of people don't pre cook them. I no, pre cook them. I get when, a, he, when he said alone, you don't I put thought, anything. I thought was, you meant you. You're like I'm yeah. alone. No, no, I am alone. I, I must alone. be Fuck alone. Yeah, I'm trying to make it. Damn. God must himself must not witness this. The house is empty. <laughs> I can see everything rivers. But then I, I cook it on the stovetop. I mix in some like cream of chicken uh, Ooh, yes, soup yes. and lots of shredded cheddar cheese. Hell yes. I'll spice it up a little pepper jack cheese. Oh, my God. If it's for breakfast, I leave it at that. But if it's a dinner meal, I'll ground some meat, oh, some ground yes. sirloin. Then I'll put it. I'll mix it all in. And then I cook it like a casserole. Yeah. Put it in a casserole and put more cheese on top. Hell yeah, yeah. And then cook it for about 22 minutes at 375. Buddy. It's so freaking th- good. This is uh, what I call like the 1950s Midwest housewife elementary That's school me. fundraiser recipe. And I am all about it. Yeah. Number one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ben? Look, like, all right. Baked I know. potato. I just want to. Number one's baked potato. Yeah. It's no, also two's baked potato. potato. Where okay. were you? <laughs> Uh, okay, you, I thought you were going to no, just pick just it again. It's again, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were just going to go with it I again. a fucking caricature? <laughs> <laughs> have, you guys, have you seen the picture of me with a big head playing tennis? Yeah, Look, now that uh, I've had this fuel, I see the real no, you. I actually, and I thought about this, I agree with Rivers. French fries. French fries are medium. They are fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah. And you get them with the right cheese on them. You get it. I, I okay. just think that like French fries are, uh, sorry, Freedom Fries yeah, are. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to North Carolina legislature. I can't remember your Doug. Uh, I'm Flutie. Not, Doug Flutie. D- yes, right. Doug Flutie. <laughs> they called him Former Cutie Buffalo Flutie. Bill. Former, former New Jersey general yeah, f- in the USFL. Former. Uh, Dick. Yeah, I'm sorry. Know. Did your cousin play linebacker in the USFL with Doug Flutie and Herschel Walker? <laughs> All right, cool. Not. <laughs> That's right. And I would tell you more about him, but he hasn't spoken to our family in like 20 years. So <laughs> anyway, um, no, I just think French fries are like. If, if you think about the dish, right? I'm thinking it, about you it. Go, you go, it could go any direction. And that's the amazing thing, I think, that's about, true. about that. Yeah, yeah. I think a lot of is. options. Okay. A lot of options there. <laughs> Shout out to Gumball Head the Cat uh, for uh, for a rousing discussion. We uh, we love we love, love some damn potatoes. It's just who I am. I'm eating potato man. Yeah, that's who I am. I'm eating potato man. Fellas, are you ready for our final segment? Let's do it. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Oh, here we go. It's time for our Jam of the Week. Jam of the Week. We're in Nashville. Oh, cue it up. You can hear it now echoing (laughs) throughout the walls of Smoker's Abbey. This, I I had to pick something for Nashville, uh, and this is actually a song that came on while I was at the Bear Creek Sports Bar. Uh, and uh, and that gave me this idea. I was like, I'm going to Nashville. I should pick something country. So I picked something uh, that I heard for the first time today, but I figured we'd probably find some fun YouTube responses, and we did. Uh, the song is called Dirt on My Boots uh, by John Party, uh, which is spelled P-A-R-D-I, not the, not the fun party. Actually, it wasn't originally, but after hearing his music, the government made him change his name and said this is false advertising. <laughs> But yeah, this is a song for the working people. Dirt on my boots about, uh, you know, cattlemen and cattlewomen across this country, hardworking. Uh, so with that in mind, uh, let us dive down into the YouTube comments for Dirt on My Boots by John <laughs> Party. Uh, first up, oh, this guy's from your neck of the woods, Ben. Hernandez NC from five years ago. Okay. I'm going to be serious on how I found out about this song. I went to eat at this restaurant called Hillbillies, and I had to take a shit. And I went to kill the toilet, and the radio was playing on some country bullshit, and this came on. And that's uh, that was the happiest I've ever been taking a shit, was hearing this song. <laughs> Well, first of all, can we say this guy's never had group diarrhea before? I was going to say, so, it, tie, I did, it tied in perfectly. It was a whole other Nirvana was, level of happiness. Shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Solid shit. <laughs> Here's my conspiracy theory. That was, Ben actually wrote that review. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. He's, <laughs> he's, his pseudonym is Hernandez and <laughs> five, five years ago, I did that. In fact, I said this will be useful one day. You're, you're a visionary, Ben, if nothing else. That's right. I thought the review was going to be like, I was taking a shit one day and this song came out. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one is very surprising. We got a celebrity on our hands. Kip Moore music. Oh, okay. Uh, of course, Kip Moore, another bro country artist, has commented. Uh, Don't have a check mark next to the name, but let's see what he says. One year ago, Kip Moore, country superstar, says, 
Thank you for loving and supporting my music, and I really appreciate your reaching out to me. You're really welcome. If you would like to get my free concert ticket, CDs, and other souvenirs, including meeting me at the back of stage, you can can drop your phone number for more information. <laughs> you can 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 drop your phone. No, you can can drop your phone. <laughs> Look, I don't know about you, but it's uh, the coolest shit ever to be at a concert at back of stage. Uh, I would love to go back up stage. <laughs> and I believe that I can can get those tickets. <laughs> this is um, so they're CD tickets. So you Yeah, yeah. Free. They're free as free well. Free CD tickets. <laughs> uh, this is this is one of those where it's like I feel bad for people who get scammed, but if you put your phone number on a YouTube comment that says back up stage, uh, you, you know, you kind of earned it. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, I get it. Okay, I won't do Oh, it. you're saying that might have been a scam. That may I, I didn't have see, been. You, but you Even there, with my brain fuel, I didn't know. You said there scam. wasn't a check mark next to it. Do you think that means something? Mayhaps. Has not been checked by the government. So free. Um, next up, Zane Hickerson from three years ago. Okay. Amazingly hot girlfriend and a half the time. <laughs> But a big fan of your videos, really, really, really big. Even though I'm in Karnak, someone in my family going to be not here, but it's going to be my daddy. And then there are 26 smiley faces. So I believe this man is threatening to kill his father. So if there's an unsolved murder of a man in Karnak, wherever the fuck that is from about three years ago, Zane Hickerson might be a man you want to talk to. <laughs> <That's> um, <right. laughs> this is the end of some other murder podcast, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Full disclosure, when I heard that song, that's exactly what I was going to write. <laughs> let's let, let's word, kill word. daddy. It's, just, it's the Manchurian candidate, but it just alerts everyone to kill their dad. <laughs> <laughs> must kill Papa. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dirt on my boots. Dad must die. Yeah, dad blood on boots. Um, <laughs> uh, next up, Shield Maiden 000 oh. from three years ago. Hell yeah. I was thinking for a long time of moving to Montana, but the liberals and influx of immigrants have ruined it. Yeah, I, shit. I am not racist, but I like to keep the places that keep the Constitution and American safety first. Sorry, didn't mean to do politics, LOL. Have a great day. I believe maybe the video was shot in Montana, and that is the connection, but... This I don't guy know. Knows. This if guy you knows. looked at the, de- and I did look at the demographics, three uh, percent Latino in uh, in Montana. I'm Seems- not racist, but whites should be with whites. <laughs> 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 this one we've got, uh, we've got a little bit of a parody, a little uh, weird, okay. weird Al wannabe on our hands. Kada from four years ago. Not on my boots, but I'm taking you to the club tonight. I might have a little juice on my wheels, but I don't care. <laughs> okay. This guy uh, goes, now make it. Now, now make, make it, it so. <laughs> Softball pitch. America swing. <laughs> okay. Got two more here. Uh, this one is Fortnite God XX from five <laughs> years ago. Does anyone else hate hippies trying to be country <laughs> drinking yep. moonshine acting all cool? Yep. They don't even have a dirt bike. John Pardee <laughs> is a real country singer and not a country remix pop crap. Okay. Uh, Daddy don't even have a dirt bike. Yeah, these hippies don't have dirt bikes. You know, all these hippies that are always talking about their dirt bikes. That's a thing. I recall the Fish concert. They wouldn't shut up about their Kawasaki Ninjas. Dirt bike hippies, yeah. dude. It's a new category to fear. <laughs> uh, and finally, I believe this person might have been uh, asked to leave Tootsie's at some point. Peyton Grace Baker from five years ago. All these perky little girls be acting like they country, but in reality... <laughs> You know that ain't got the guts to shoot an innocent little deer, but bitch, I'll be like, screw it. This one looks good, but y'all perky. If y'all's perky fake little asses can't handle a scratch on your heels, then there ain't no way in hell. There's no punctuation. This is zero. There ain't no way in hell you're going to be living on or even acting like a real country girl, bitch. Liking one country song don't make you country. Y'all be on here thinking you all country. Sweetheart, you ain't. Go back to Starbucks, you basic bitch. We'll be down here drinking sweat tea. 
and watching you sob over your broken heels. I'm sorry if any offense came to that. I'm just stating my opinion, a.k.a. the truth. Oh, my God. Also, Kip, my number is 615. <laughs> Can we book that person for next month's show? Hey, uh, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, Peyton Grace Baker. <laughs> <laughs> I'd pay to see that show. <laughs> They're kicking me out of here just because of my green pants. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is bullshit. All right. Uh, and that, of course, is John Pardee, Dirt on My Boots, our jam of the week. Ben Sawyer, where can people find Ours you? Or as he was known in Marseille, Jean Pardee. Uh, <laughs> Jean Pardee in but Italy. He, he said, dirt on my boots. And they were like, not like that. He's like, dirt on my boots. Like, good job, Jean Pardee. You did. My it. name is Ben Sawyer. You can find me at, uh, at Sawyer Comedy for my comedy. Or you can find me at the underscore road underscore oh, Lord. two underscore road underscore two underscore now, the road to now podcast. Anywhere you listen to this. Yeah, just type um, in road to now. You'll figure it out. Type in yeah. Ben. Just Ben. Just He's ben. number one. Oh, ben. God. All right. Mark and Unson. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Ye Old Walrus is my Twitter. <laughs> Hell yeah. Or uh, Instagram at Manunso, M-A-N-U-N-D-S-O, Manunso. Hell yeah. Love it. Uh, shout out again to Smokers Abbey for having us in our little nook back here. Uh, you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash thegoodspod. We are on Twitter at thegoodspod every episode ever, plus tons of clips, youtube.com slash thegoodspod. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at Rivers Langley. The best way to support this show, head over to patreon.com slash the goods pod. And uh, second best way to support the show, head over to Apple Podcasts, rate, review, and subscribe. Show the attitude of gratitude because if you do not have the attitude of gratitude, Dede, you are not having group diarrhea with us at Tootsies. <laughs> <laughs> well done. The Goods from the Woods was recorded and edited by me, Rivers Langley. You can find our show on Twitter at The Goods Pod. Our theme song was composed by Jonas the Space Cowboy. This was a brain freeze podcast. <laughs>